Hello Aries and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I am so happy you are here with me today. This is your weekly reading for October 21st to the 27th. We're going to get into your reading right away. So I'm going to start with your incoming energies and then we will do a nine card tarot spread to get a little bit more information as to <clears throat> what's happening for you during the course of this week. So please remember, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you find that it does resonate with you, please consider sharing some comments with me. It helps me connect with your energy and I do really appreciate it. Um, just so you know, the card number seven, choose wisely, fell out of your energy cards here. So there could be, you could be faced with some choice. And it's obviously something that you're going to have to use your wisdom with. You're going to maybe either have to seek out knowledge or it might be something that comes from within. All right, let's find out your incoming energies, Aries, for this week. All right, powerful time for you. This is a powerful week. A lot of Leo energy here and you've got another one. All right, so the energies that are surrounding you incoming uh, number eight, power. You've got number three, rejoice in celebration. Lovely energies. And you got number 17, hope. All right, we will get into those in just a moment. We're going to start at the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck is your current energies. It's the energies you're bringing into this week's reading. So let's go three back and find out what all of this means. All right. You got number nine, solitude. This is the hermit card. So ruled by Virgo. This is really everything um, to, to do with wisdom. You know, you're actually holding the book here and you're seeking knowledge, you're seeking wisdom. Uh, sometimes it is about doing some deep reflection. And I think that maybe you have been doing, a, you know, you've going, been going through sort of a thought process um, deep within you to try and figure out, you know, what your next steps are, what, what, what is my life experience here? What is, you know, is, is my work life what I want? Is my personal life what I want? I think that you're just trying to really figure out um, that light that's within you. And I think that that's something you've been working on. You also got number two, the sacral chakra. That is all about creativity. And again, it has to do with your self-worth. Again, I think you could be, have some of you really could be taking some time out to really explore uh, your capabilities, your own creative side, uh, exploring something new that brings passion into your life. And then you also got number six, material and spiritual prosperity. So I think you're trying to figure out what is it that is important to you that's going to give you that nice balance of material and spiritual prosperity. Uh, you know, what is, what is it in life that, that is needed for me to really explore my life on a new level? And I think that you are really doing some deep thinking about the next steps that you want to take to progress, right? So there's going to be some progression, absolutely. All right, so let's look at your incoming energies. We have number eight power. This is definitely Leo energy. Uh, this would be your, um, uh, your fifth house. So the fifth house is all to do with passion. All right, so it's about performance and entertainment, creativity. And we talked about creativity already with that second chakra, with your, with your sac sacral chakra. Um, this is all to do with pleasure and, you know, how you see pleasure in your life. Uh, so again, you know, it, it really could have a lot to do with how you feel those passions in your life because, again, that Leo energy is in your fifth house. And I think you're feeling a lot of strength right now. So I think that you are actually feeling really strong in, in your own passions and in your own creativity. And I think that that strength is what is helping you to figure out what your next steps are as you move and progress. So we also have number three, rejoice and celebration. And this of course is beautiful. This is, you know, this is three people joining forces here and joining in some sort of celebration. I think there is something for you to celebrate. You are going to see, uh, I think you're going to have an awakening here. And I think there's something new that is, that is, uh, you know, 
progressing forward for you. Again, I think you are really trying to figure out how to create that material and spiritual prosperity in your life. You've gone through the thinking phase. You've taken some time out to really explore what that means to you from a deeper level. And now it's time to celebrate in that. There could be an invitation of some sort. There could be some sort of celebration. Maybe it is. Maybe by the end of this week, you guys are celebrating some steps forward. And number 17, this is Aquarius energy. This is your um, healing and hopeful energy, wishing upon a star. You can see the beautiful bright light here. You are in the center of that light. You are really feeling um, re-energized. Re I think emotionally you're feeling recharged. And, you know, again, you're, you're coming out of a time where, you know, um, you know, you really needed to do some deep thinking. And I think you feel as if this is something that's been successful for you, hence why you are rejoicing in celebration as well. All right. So let's see. Powerful week for you. Let's get into your nine card spread, Aries, and find out what all of this means. So I'm going to get all nine cards. I'm going to read out what those nine cards are. Then we're going to start with the, the first row to the left, and we're going to break each card down. So let's find out. Let's get all nine cards. There's the first card, second, whoop, and third card. Oop, those two go together. So now we're going to do the second row. All right, and there we go. And then we'll get the third row, and then I'm going to read them all out. Wow. You have got a lot of messages this week. All right, let's get these three all together. The center of your reading, beautiful for the center of the reading. Okay, so let's read all of these out. We've got the Page of Swords. We've got the Three of Cups. And then these two cards came out together. The Three of Pentacles and the Three, the Empress. Look at all the threes. You have got so many threes. You've got three in Rejoice and Celebration. You've got three cups, three of pentacles, three the empress. And then in the second row, we've got the three of wands. In the middle of your reading, we've got the ace of cups. And then we've got the two of pentacles at the bottom here. Last row, five of wands, queen of swords. And then these three cards, three cards, let's keep those threes in mind, came out together, Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and Four of Wands. You've got a lot of things to celebrate here, Aries. Beautiful. I love this energy for you. All right. Uh, in the center of your reading, with it being the Ace of Cups, it's really about emotional fulfillment here. And I think this is something that you have been really trying to figure out for yourself. I think that this is why you took a time out. I think that's why this solitude was so necessary for you. I think it comes after an emotional loss. I think that you felt a loss of some sort. That's why you decided to retreat, to figure out what it is that you need to do to bring a, a new experience into your life. This is an ace of abundance. It's the emotional abundance in your life that you've been wanting to fulfill. And it is the center of your reading. So I feel like you are starting to really figure out what it is you need to do in your life to bring you that emotional fulfillment. All right, let's start to the left here with the Page of Swords. Pages, again, there's no gender with any of the cards, but pages are very youthful energy. And for me, I always read them as messengers. This messenger is very inquisitive, very curious, and is a seeker of knowledge. They want to get information. It's, in, it's important to them to get this information. So I think that you will be on the receiving end of some sort of message. It's going to be a message that's going to open up the lines of communication and it's going to be something that you've been waiting for. It's almost as if there's been a standstill because there hasn't been communications. This page of swords is bringing you about some communication. So let's find out the Clar the clarifying card with that page of swords spirit angels guides and it is the four of pentacles interesting so the four of pentacles is about holding on to things really tightly so again you could be holding on to material things you could be holding on to situations or relationships in your life but you're holding on to something that you know um, provides you with stability and this is why it's hard to let it go or release it so i think you're waiting on some sort of message um, that is going to clear up that communication so that you can release something in your life. You have to release something so that you can allow transformations to take place. But until you receive that clarity, 
you aren't feeling comfortable about releasing that. So let's find out because we're, we are seeing a lot of celebration and rejoice and happiness uh, surrounding you. And it seems to be in multiples of three. So that could mean something to, to you as well. But this three of cups is the same energy as the rejoice and celebration. So there is something to be celebrated here. Let's find out what it is. Three of cups for the beautiful sign Aries. There it is. What is it? Oh, wow. It's number 21. Wow, 21. When you add 21 together, it's the number three. I feel like you are rejoicing in celebration because you are able to actually put closure to something in your life that you have been waiting for for a very long time. You've been waiting for the communications. You've been waiting for the message to be able to release something. You haven't been able to do that because you haven't had the clarity. Well, the reason you're able to celebrate now is because closure is coming in for you. You are setting the world on fire here and this is why there is so much celebration around you. So again, you've been waiting and holding on to something tightly because there hasn't been the communication. That communication is coming. So now it, it's something that you definitely are, it, it's bringing you happiness, it's bringing you gratification and, and it's something that you've been really waiting for. So again, um, this is a beautiful chapter that's closing for you. The end of a cycle, the beginning of a new. All right, now you've got here the three of pentacles and the empress. So now that you are rejoicing in celebration because you are closing out some sort of chapter that you've been waiting on those communications, you are now embarking on something new. The empress is filled with beauty. She is very abundant. She creates so much abundance in her life. She is, she is at that fertile stage in her life, meaning that you're birthing something new, a new idea, a new creative project, maybe a new job, maybe something within the realms of your job. You're creating new contacts, you know, uh, you're signing new contracts. Uh, again, but it's a very fertile time, meaning there's a lot of growth. You are nurturing this and it's making it a lot easier to nurture this because you are in celebration mode because something that you've been waiting on the answers for is finally reaching its destination. The three of pentacles, you are not doing this all on your own. You have people in your life or you have people that you work with, you know, connections around you, supportive connections around you that are helping you to achieve your goals. So again, for some of you, maybe it is the necessity for you to expand your vision and to expand this new creative uh, idea might require help and you, it looks as if you have a lot of supportive help around you so let's find out what the clarifying card is for the three of pentacles and the three the empress remember no gender with any of the cards spirit angels guides for the beautiful sign aries i'm not taking all of those i'm going to take the one that flew right out and okay so you got the empress a three wow i've never seen so much synchronicities with numbers uh, as I have with yours this, this week. So you've got a three supporting two threes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Empress is clarifying the Empress. You are at an extremely abundant time in your life. You are creating something new. Again, you have a vision and you are not holding back from this vision. You are now ready to explore this new experience in your life. You are, you have been planting seeds. I think you've been planting seeds everywhere. And now all of these seeds are starting to grow and they're starting to come into fruition for you. So much abundance is in, in store for you right now. The second row here with the three of wands, you're seeing things at a distance, but that's okay. You are ready for expansion and your ships are now starting to come in. They couldn't come in because you were requiring information. You weren't, you were holding on so tightly to something that it wasn't allowing you to feel a sense of freedom. But now that you're able to close that chapter, it's time to rejoice in celebration because something that you've been planting seeds for is now growing and you can see that things are starting to come in from a distance. The ships are now peeking through. Definitely has something to do with work. Uh, or the hard work that you put into something. The Eight of Pentacles is what is clarifying this Three of Wands. Your hard work, your detail has not gone um, unnoticed. People are noticing what you do and this is why you are expanding in a beautiful new direction. Uh, your ships are coming in because of the hard work that you have put into something. So again, all of that hard work is paying off for you. 
Everything that is transforming for you here is bringing you your Ace of Cups, which is that beautiful overflowing feeling of abundance. So emotionally, you are feeling on a high, which is really good. It's about time. And you got another three. I, I don't know if there's enough threes in these decks, but you got another three. You are rejoicing in celebration three times. Is there three celebrations happening for you, Aries? You'll have to let me know. But there is definitely... You, if any of you, if three is an impactful number for you, please leave comments. Let me know because I have never seen so many threes. This is a time for you to feel emotional joy. You are, are reaching a plateau or you are reaching a point, not a plateau. You're not plateauing at all. You are reaching a sense of, of success that is bringing you beyond. beyond. All right, the two of pentacles, you feel like you have been juggling things. Now, the reason you might be juggling things is because if you're celebrating three different things, you could have lots of opportunities in and around what you're doing. So let's find out why you're feeling you're juggling so many things in your life. Uh, we can be happy juggling things, especially if it's wonderful opportunities. All right, you got the five of swords. So you are feeling conflicted with, with this juggle. And it could be because, you know what, it, it, there's so much celebration going on that you're just, you're, maybe you're really trying to balance things out in your life and you're feeling a sense of conflict with that. You're trying to figure out how to stop the balancing game, the balancing act. And, uh, and that, again, could be just something that you are feeling a little bit of conflict with. Here we've got the five of wands, which is again, a little bit more conflict. It can be competition. So if you are feeling that there has been a little bit of competition, um, it could be healthy competition in the workplace. Um, you definitely out, outshine your competition. Um, sometimes I think what motivates you to even strive further is a little bit of healthy competition. So that's just in your, in your DNA. All right, you got the King of Swords. Again, the King of Swords does not use, uh, doesn't use their emotions to make decisions or really it's all about getting facts. And I think right now for you, it could be something to do with a contract. The King of Swords is air energy. So it can be to do with legalities. It can do, be due with contracts. You are definitely on the winning end because you are celebrating a multitude of times here. So it's definitely something that's coming out in your favor. Uh, if there has been some sort of uh, competition or a little bit of conflict around a contract, this is something that is definitely playing out in your favor. It's something that's going to be fair and it's something that's going to bring balance in your life. So the conflict that you were feeling with trying to juggle things and bring balance into your life, um, you are going to feel um, like that weight is lifted from your shoulders. You also got the queen of, queen of swords. So a lot of stuff to do with contracts here. So again, a lot of these celebrations could have to do with contracts that are around, agreements, um, things that uh, you've been waiting on the message to release this information so that you can move forward. And now that time has come. Let's find out the queen of swords information. She is somebody you can trust if she is an energy around you. Um, if not, it could be your own energy. There is no gender with these cards. Let's find out what the Queen of Swords would like to share with you, Aries. And you, she's sharing the Ace of Chalices, which is the Ace of Cups. That is the Ace that is to the left of her. And it's very interesting because when we look at that, you know, when we look at how she, the cards are situated here, you can see that the Queen of Swords has her back against the Ace of Cups, meaning she's trying to not make decisions with her heart. She's trying to make decisions based on logic because she knows that if she makes logical decisions and communicates those things in a very honest way, being honest with herself, being honest with those that are around her, that is going to what that is what's going to bring her emotional contentment, emotional fulfillment, and it's going to bring her a lot of abundance. So again, you know, uh, the Queen of Swords knows exactly what she needs to do to bring that into her life. And I think that you are, again, I think that there is a lot of information that's coming your way that is going to clear up all of that for you. Because again, look, you've got the Ace of Swords, you've got tons of threes and you've got 
uh, three aces in your reading. So lots of new beginnings here. Uh, the ace of swords is that breakthrough. It is a victory. So again, you know, even though there's been some conflict, you are feeling like you are on the winning end of everything. This is again, restoring balance in your life because this ace of swords is an extremely heavy sword. Look at the eagle here because you are breaking free. You're finally not feeling like you're holding on so tightly to something in your life. You're able to break free from that. You've got the Queen of Pentacles energy, which is you striving forward in a practical way to bring more abundance in your life. I think this contract has more money involved with it because the Queen of Pentacles, she, she is very resourceful. She knows exactly what is a necessity for her to have the nice things in life and she's not afraid of the hard work. Um, lots of things will blossom for her and she uses, uh, she uses her, um, she uses her, her hard work ethic to bring her the abundance that she needs as well. So you're having a breakthrough with something work related, contract related, that's bringing you more financial abundance. It's bringing more stability in the home as well. For some of you, there could be a breakthrough um, with, um, with the sale of a home. Some of you, if there is a sale of a home or you have an investment in a home, there is a celebration here as well. Um, for some of you too, it could be marriage as well. So it could have something to do with your marriage. Um, you've been holding so tightly onto something and now you're feeling that you can, you're feeling that great sense of freedom. So if you've been holding onto a property, waiting for the sale of the property, um, there's a victory here and you are going to see movement forward there. Also too, if you've been waiting on some sort of um, decision uh, with a contract, again, your gateways of happiness are opening here with that four of wands. Um, a lot of stability surrounding you. Uh, and again, because you're able to break free, uh, you are no longer going to feel like you're holding back from anything. I think that there is, um, I think that there is some victory around something with your home. Uh, again, a more profit in your home, um, an investment in your home, but definitely feeling, um, they're, they're, they're increasing that beautiful stability. No longer are you going to have to juggle. Those struggles are going away. Wow, Aries, this was unbelievable. Oh, and you know what? I didn't get a clarifier for that because those three cards came up. So let's get the clarifier for the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Let's find out. Spirit Angels Guides, what would you like to say with the clarifying of those three cards coming out together? Well, it's about time that we've got some peace in here because you've got so much going on, so many celebrations. No wonder you're trying to juggle everything and you're finding it challenging. You're going to be exhausted. So time for you to now take a break. The four of swords, you've got four, four, and four. Diagonally, three fours. That four of swords is time for you to take some rest out for yourself. You know what? You've had so much strength during this whole ordeal of whatever it is you've been going through. Now that everything is coming to light for you, time for those celebrations. Enjoy those moments of those celebrations, but then take some time out for yourself. Go on a little retreat. Um, to, you know, get better rest. Take care of yourself from the inside out because you are going to need your energy, Aries, because there is a lot of wonderful things that are happening for you. Uh, and so getting your rest is going to be uh, proven a, 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 to be a success for you and you are going to feel like you can do it because you know this is a heavy weight lifted from your shoulders this is something that's been weighing on your shoulders and now that chapter is closing you are really building your material and spiritual prosperity this week is the stepping stones for many celebrations not only today tomorrow but in the years to come as well maybe not years how about we say months um, but I think you're going to have continuous celebrations. All right, let's get your angel message. What the angels would like to share with the beautiful sign Aries. We've definitely got, that's too many. I'm going to take the one that flipped over. Yeah, and you got Sandolphin, number nine, turquoise. It is about forgiveness seeking and this there was a lot of swords in your reading so you're seeking that information it's what is setting you free and the freedom is that ace of swords so you are being set free here and it is a time for healing so definitely a lot of healing energy here and that healing is you finally taking the rest that you so deserve because you have really had a lot of patience and you've been really this has been a waiting game for you all right let's get your secondary angel message Spirit Angels Guides for the beautiful sign Aries. 
And it's all about commitment. I think you definitely show your commitment levels, that's for sure. My thoughts, actions, words, and deeds support my commitment. The angels ask you to evaluate your commitments to others carefully as you enter this new phase. Get rid of anything that weighs down your spirit. This could mean leaving draining jobs, commitments, or habits behind. So I think that there is change happening for you and I think what you were holding on to so tightly is going through a change and it's bringing you so much abundance, so much prosperity, and it's really helping you feel much healthier as well. Your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit. So commitment, very important. All right, Aries, let's get your final angel number. So we already know that uh, threes are an extremely important part of your angel numbers and synchronicities this week, as well as aces. So keep that in mind. Spirit, angels, and guides. The angel number that you would like to share with the beautiful sign Aries as we close out this reading. Oh my goodness. And you got three, three, three. Honestly, I've done almost all the readings this week already and yours is the most synchronized with numbers. Support. So growth, creativity, joy, community, visions, and talents. Seeking or seeing the angel number 333 is a sign that it's time to focus inward, work on your skills, discover your talents, and use your imagination. Unleash your inner artist. Do something will doing something to boost your self-esteem and sense of competence. It does wonders for your sense of purpose and contributes to your community. 333. Wow, unbelievable. Beautiful messages for you this week, Aries. I hope that this makes sense for you. I know uh, I say this all the time. I, I wish that they could resonate with everyone. I hope parts of it do. Um, and if it does, please leave comments. I love to read them. I appreciate all your love and support. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.